Uh, in this video, I'm just going to show this is a little part that I print up, this little nozzle uh, with the, um, excuse the sanded marks in there, I'm trying to get it smooth. But I printed up with the uh, Form Labs uh, Form 1 um, OnePlus SLA uh, printer, uh, 3D printer. And this is using the um, tough material. And I've tested this material, it's really, really, really strong material. Hit it with hammers and stuff, uh, vice to uh, some other material. It's really good. And so I'm going to um, put some pressure behind. Uh, put my Just got the O ring on there. And see, and these threads, they, I think they were 38-24 uh, uh, threads. So, yeah, this is on the lowest resolution for the, um, you only have two resolutions for the um, tough material. And so it prints threads really nicely. That white buildup in there, it's just from uh, when you run the threads, uh, when you screw apart through here. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Yeah, it's hard to do one-handed, but when you screw apart through there a couple of times, you're going to get some some leftover, um, just some material shavings, you know, just from running through the metal and everything. So yeah, this is the nozzle. I'm going to run some, uh, put some water in this unit. This is a, a new unit I'm working on. Put some water in here. I'm going to pressurize it to 195 psi and see how the nozzle performs. Uh, it saves us some time uh, from having to get some some parts actually machined from metal. Um, so it should be a good way to uh, to test prototype test. Uh, the reason why this nozzle is so short is I'm trying to go for a uh, almost a flush mount application with the diameter of the cylinder. I don't really want to um, extend beyond the diameter of the cylinder, so that's why the nozzle is so short. Uh, so stay tuned. We'll see how this uh, how this this thing performs. Three, two, one. 